Hi, Taurus. Scorpio season reading. November. All information to work with me one-on-one -on -one is below, as well as the extended version to this reading, which will be in the first link below. All right. Funnily enough, I've done two different videos for you already, and we're on the third one. For some reason, something about them just didn't feel right, and I feel very particular this month in a very relaxed way, so I was like, okay, let's just do this again. So we are. And may, you may be wondering, well, why would she do that? Because it just didn't feel special enough. <laughs> I feel like we just went through the last, the closing of the eclipses, and you're reaching this point at this point in your life, this stage where you just no longer give a shit in a certain way. And Libra season helped you like clarify for you. It helped you overcome a lot of things perhaps that you've been dealing with for about five or so years with things that a cycle perhaps, and maybe you've gotten some justice on it. Maybe you have taken a look and learned very quickly well what would i do in the position what would an empress do in this position you may not be an empress or in a position of power but what would you do if you were in a position of power what kind of personal power are you working with and this month is all about power where a lot of scorpio placements are activating you and and sitting across from you and it's really clear what you've what you're overcoming this month and what parts of you deserve more attention where you're just getting attention because you are exuding something specific maybe to those no longer that are in your energy field and to those who are notice you'll notice like a big drastic duality between people that you fuck with and people that you don't for lack of a better term people that you work well with people that you are exchanging energy with as to opposed to people who aren't there especially in terms of work especially in terms of money love and and love we have the two main venusian signs out on the table so of course we're going to talk about love and money and how those aspects relate to each other you also may be if you are with a Taurus or with a Libra, which we'll get more into the second part, but it will quickly reveal to you why you're with this person, what's, why this relationship is so strong, how much you seem to be exactly on the same page, maybe overcoming similar things just in different areas of your life. Maybe you're relating, maybe you're loving. And that has you thinking maybe about what you could possibly offer, what more you can offer, what part of yourself, what you've learned, what you feel very confident and empowered to give. You may also be witnessing more of this thought in you, of this intuitive part of you that just wants to give. And you're always willing to give emotionally and it's something that we find ourselves talking to each other about me talking to you about every few months because you're one of the signs that doesn't realize how much you give and how much you give emotionally and how much you give and how much you carry and it's really important that you're with someone if it's in a romantic relationship that understands that or even if they can't necessarily understand stand that they could relate or they can hear you out, they can see you, they can acknowledge it, they can listen to you, they, they see you, right? They see that. They're like, yeah, I got you. I see you. And you're just like, I don't know. And they're just, they're just like, yeah, it's okay. It's okay to be that way. It's okay to be who you are. You're safe here. This may also be... A time where you really commit to this version of yourself where you see unexpected parts or people move away from you or this energy of flirtation doesn't surround you as much or people don't necessarily aren't attracted to you in that way but that may be 
just a moment or in your head because it's Scorpio season and a lot of people will come towards you. And this is a lot of cards, okay? Knight of Cups, Knight of Pentacles, a reoccurring one from the cards that I had seen previous to this reading. Um, I was going to fix this really quick. It's too much white light. You saw that move a little? That works for me. Okay. Um, yeah, so you quickly see why. Quickly in your eyes, this person are, that you're seeing leave and these patterns that you're seeing leave and the power that they've had over you, you're seeing that leave because it looks like you are now more interested in how and not letting things just constrain you without or make you feel controlled without your consent that maybe you take a moment like I told Scorpio during this time at all think of like okay where may I've learned this who who does this specific aspect relate to in my life that I may have learned subconsciously and I don't, and now I have the power to say, you know, I'm going to dead that. You quickly come into your power, all of a sudden this eclipse almost like downloads it into you and everything that you've been almost struggling or fighting with about yourself or going through the past month, you finally like, oh, it's very clear to me. I don't even need to explain it and just understand it's like a download. You realize, oh, this is what I missed. I'm glad I dodged that bullet for some of you. <laughs> you know? For others of you, it's about Saturn going direct. And this is directly impacting how you go about moving in your day-to-day -day life. That maybe you need a little spice and maybe you like a little of this and a little of that and that there's nothing wrong with it that you may have gotten to a lull and now you're coming back up during this month where you feel very not controlled but you feel very led by these very this very natural side of us during this time this time where we want to get cozy and cuddly right? It's very important, very important that you stand your ground this month with who anyone who tries to always, but like this month more than ever, not trying to get into fights this month, and we'll go over that in a second, but not letting anyone cross your boundaries because there will be pushes. But how that shows you maybe you take a look in your life where you're not having respect for maybe someone else's. And you're wanting all of this respect for yours. It goes both ways. I'm talking to myself as well. Okay. <laughs> it's about taking a look at what the missing piece is, what you just can't let go of, maybe a grudge or something that you've held on to. You now see things for what they are. It's kind of just like almost like in the movies when you go into that person's memory, maybe like Harry Potter or something. You go into a memory and you see how you used to go about things, how you used to direct or be indirect or too passive. And you take that part of you that's so blunt and direct and concise and you put it into the place that it's really needed. If there's any time to do a power move like that, it's this time. You've, we've been seeing it come out of you. Sorry, of all this adjusting. But this is an adjustment period. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. But you've see, we've seen it come out of you multiple times, and you've kind of seen it in yourself throughout these throughout this eclipse transit. And now it's solidifying in yourself that like this isn't just a transit. This isn't just something I'm going through. This is how I feel. This is who I am. This is what I expect. This is what I need. This is why I also need to do. This is what I expect of myself. This is what, and go from there, and very quickly things adjust any doubts you have had about what's in store for you what you are not only bringing but 
receiving or coming into in this time of your life. How you can overcome anything and any doubt or any lack of imagination or risk taking that you can take your own risks at your own time in your own way at your own pace but not to fight with anyone else or yourself about when you know when it's time to walk away that there may be still a sudden change but it doesn't mean that you stick with that change it doesn't mean that you didn't learn something enough to know that what's on the other side is an adventure is something different is something that maybe your you need your soul needs not to get too corny on us here but it's something that you're here to experience you uniquely are here to experience is this power within yourself to then carry forth that power to see it in others and how they present themselves to you, how they talk to you, how they act around you, what they choose to expose to you, what they don't, what they don't especially, okay? And how throughout time many of these things crept into you Hi, sweetie. Aw, little kitty's here. And it's affected you and possibly how you approach money, how you approach... Aw, she's never done this before. Hi, sweetie. Here. She likes to sit behind me. Aww, little kitty. She's so sweet, she might jump down. Hi. And what's really out there is for you. It's beyond any pettiness. It's beyond anyone wanting to bring you into something that just doesn't make sense for you. It's you realizing that you do have the power and somewhat of the control in your life to open the floodgates to take and and you might pull back a lot of being if you've been in an extroverted place you may become a little more introverted this month to assess these things you may want to be more quiet naturally while you make your next moves but also just because you need some space before another very extroverted time comes in a moment to integrate and digest these changes that you didn't realize how quickly these cycles turn in your even in your immediate life how it changes so much and what it's asking of you and what it's asking you to do and become and who you're asking yourself that you're becoming how you're asking yourself who you are becoming. That's what I meant to say. It's the intimate moments this month that are really important to you. The intimacy with your surroundings, your loved ones, your partner, if you are partnered, and if you're going on dates, there will be good times too. Um, but again, don't rush into anything too quickly. And you may be seeing a cycle repeat itself closely so that you can snip it off. And you see it. Again, you see it very clearly, very vividly. And you also are handle or <laughs> you handle the change, the abrupt change very well in terms of how you approach your love life and your money life, how you approach your fi yeah your finances long term, how you're approaching um, a partner long term, whether you're in one or not in a partnership or not, and you don't realize how like well 
you handle that abrupt change. You realizing how you have been and allowing yourself to acknowledge that yet not let it control you, but do the very small steps that you need to do, everyday things that you need to do, and realize it could just be coming from this fear or doubt. And it came maybe came from a prominent masculine figure in your life. And you're now realizing that the more that you fight with this instead of looking at it, it's not working. And the best thing you could do is to walk away from any of the emotion or intensity or charge that you have with this person or this memory or how this keeps reenacting itself in your life and you choose that you're not walking away from yourself you're walking towards yourself by walking away from this specific cycle or getting yourself even deeper into this specific cycle depending on where it is that you work or you're putting your time and energy into and you have maybe plenty of new ideas or a new idea that sparks your attention that if you have to go somewhere every day but you can leave the emotional stuff behind or you can just do what you need to do and leave it there. Do your work, be there, be with the people, be there, but not take too much home, don't take it home with you. Because all of the energy that you need has to go into this Ace of Pentacles time. That's where you need to indulge yourself in your worth and your what you believe, how you believe in yourself and what you choose to put that into. Taking those beliefs, putting it into action, even if it's just writing the plan, even if it's just looking at websites or whatever it is you want to do, whatever it is you break, you start to break it down very in a very Saturn way, and that even prompts more change and more reception for change because the more that you let go emotionally the easier it is for whatever is to come in next and whatever you're wanting to do next to have or whatever you're if you're aligning more with just like your heart and your soul in that way then maybe you're going to connect with whatever it is that you're meant to do next or wherever, wherever you're meant to be next or however that's meant to be expressed expressed next but first you need that quiet and that letting go and not to let, give yourself because it's just many distractions, many distractions, <laughs> some please give into and then others just it's like learning where that self control is. Where do you indulge? Yet allow yourself to feel more pleasure, yet also get the work done, right? Feeling good while doing it getting healthier if you're feeling like you want to be healthier great time to do so also if there's a motherly person or someone who's taken on that role in your life and they feel like they maybe they're pushing some like a marriage or someone or someone towards you and you're just like I don't want to have it be very honest and clear with them they won't hear it until you're very honest and clear with them it might hurt their feelings at first but that's not on you how they receive it is different than how you deliver it. It's not doesn't have to be equated with one with the other. It depends on where they're at. Listen to your intuition, listen to your body more than ever this month. If you ever feel like you're not in your body and you're finding yourself in the depth of your mind, which Mercury and Scorpio, uh, Mars and Scorpio, Sun and Scorpio can take you there. Get into your body if you can if it's if it's too much if it ever becomes too much pray have faith you're seeing a lot of things in a very clear way very potent aspects of your life in a in a very clear way and you're ready for it and you want it and you know what to do with it this was what i was looking for the other two just didn't feel right. They weren't as, you know what I'm saying? Okay. See you in the next part, Taurus. All information is below.